What's up, everybody? For the win, Itachi here. Probably one of the last Pokemon Sun and Moon update videos. We've got Discover the Final Evolutions of these starter Pokemon and so much more today. And I can't wait to actually watch this. This is my first time watching it. And I guess we get to find out a lot of information on the Final Evolution. So without further ado, as usual, let's go ahead and check out the trailer and then we'll in-depth break it down. Your partner Pokemon have fought fully evolved. Amazing background music. No. Oh, shit. Decidui. Oh, ghost type! No! I did not see this coming! What is this? Oh, my gosh. That is that is cool. I hate grass types. Grass ghost. Way to take it to a whole new level. Signature move. Spirit shackle. You can no longer switch out. It's got a bow and arrow, mate. Litten's final evolution. It did not take the full incineroar. Fire dark. There we go. No fighting type. Oh my gosh. It actually looks okay. It looks like freaking frosted flakes. Um, whatever the tiger dude is. It's great. Yay. Incineroar. Incineroar. Uh, darkest lariat. Ignores the opponent's stat. Changes and goes in for the freaking force. And this is Primarina, Water Fairy. I knew from the start it had, they had to bring Fairy in. Fairy was one of the coolest new types of all times. I really enjoy this Pokemon. A lot of people don't like it because of how feminine it is. I could care less if it's feminine or masculine. It looks absolutely amazing for what it is. Sparkling Aria heals the burns on any target it strikes. Great, amazing type for the uh, dual battles. Akala Island's Guardian. We finally get to see all, please, all the Guardians. Tapu Lele, Psychic Fairy. They're going all out with these freaking combos of typings. Psychic Surge. Battlefield got weird, son. Oh my gosh. We got so much cool stuff today. Psychic Terrain? What does it do exactly? I think... I'm gonna have to look at that again, but I'm pretty sure I know. Lu Yula Ula, Island's Guardian. Tapu Bulu, Grass Fairy. Oh my god. This game is gonna be so fun, everybody. I can't wait. They've brought so much new stuff to Pokemon Sun and Moon, unlike all the other series. I mean, there's always a couple new and interesting things, but this is just taking it to a whole new level. Pony Island's Guardian, Tapu Fini, Water Fairy. So very similar to the, um, the starter Pokemon Final Evolution, but it's a totem-type Pokemon, so well, it's, got, it's got some extra amazing super-duper powers. That's pretty cool. They are they all look very cool. Like all little build tiny fairy things. The top who share a unique Z move. So are they all the same? Tapu Coco surrounded itself with the Z power. Guardian of uh, they all share Guardian of Alola, I'm assuming, but it look it looks different for all of them. It has to be. Oh shit. That guy, that nose pass is like, ah she shines. The typings and everything. Encounter even more Pokemon. New Pokemon? No way. Cosmog. No. That looks like cast form, psychic form, ability unaware. Dude, that looks so cool. I think it looks cooler when it was just a 2D model. Persian. Alola form. Looks absolutely retarded. Dark type fur coat technician. I don't give two shits about this Pokemon. Looks freaking stupid. Witness the beginning of the Alolan Pokemon League. That's Mount Lanikila, the highest peak in Alola. We're going to make an awesome league, so you better become an awesome trainer. Alolan champions can take on the on the battle tree. Battle and team up with other famous trainers. That's Wally. That's Wall. That's my boy Wally. What the fuck? Oh, red and red and blue. AKA Ash and Gary, AKA the Battle Legends. Red and Blue are back looking older as ever. They are now in the Alolan region. Oh my no, the fields are back. These guys are the OGs. We get the, f no, we get the battle of the guys. Oh, these guys have been through since day one, Red and Blue, 20 years ago. They came from the Red and Blue version until now, 20 years later. Available November 18th of 2016. 
Alrighty, so we're going to get our recap on with the Pokemon exclusive Z moves revealed for the in Pokemon Sun and Moon Z moves make their debut, as we all know. But the Guardians of Alola have a unique Z move as Guardian deities of Alola. The Tapu can use the special Z move Guardian of Alola move. When using the Z move, the Tapu close their shells and a huge avatar appears from the ground to attack the opposing Pokemon, dealing damage equal to 75% of the target's remaining health. So, that isn't an amazing Z-move power because a lot of the Z-moves can one-shot you. So, only dealing 75% of the target's remaining health. So, if it had, let's say, 4 health, it would only deal 3 damage. I mean, it's got to be kind of a major, major letdown, but okay. I, I will deal with it. It looks absolutely amazing. The Battle Tree, which is brand new, where strong opponents await. Somewhere in the Alola region, you'll find a Battle Tree, a place where those trainers who have completed their island challenge or who are strong enough to have done so battle one another. All of the trainers you can encounter in the Battle Tree are strong. It seems you might even encounter two Battle prod Prodigies from the Kanto region, which is red and blue. The amazing duo. Scout partners to battle alongside you as well. At the battle tree, you can scout an opponent you've won against so they can battle and partner with you in future battles. You may also even be able to scout some familiar faces, as we saw uh, with Cynthia, as we saw with uh, Garchomp as well. Next up, the Pokemon League itself. In the regions that have served as the setting for your adventures in the Pokemon series so far, the ultimate stage of the battle has always been a place called the Pokemon League. Pokemon League is where the elite four Pokemon, four Pokemon trainers with powerful Pokemon partners and the champion, who reign as the top of all trainers, await challengers. The challenger who defeats the elite four and the champion will hail as the new champion of the Pokemon League. In the Alola region, the setting of the Pokemon Sun and Moon, there is no Pokemon League yet, but it seems that there are plans to construct one on the peak of a certain mountain. After the growth you have achieved through completing the Island Challenge, Will the day come when you also take the Pokemon League to become the strongest Pokemon trainer? Who knows? Um, what would be great is if they can make the Pokemon League MMO styled. And what I mean by that is we are the Pokemon League as a whole. Um, that might be a reason why they have it uh, unconstructed yet because they want to save that uh, until they can figure out how to do that. That would be great, but I highly doubt it. Some of the Pokemon that we saw, uh, Tapu Lele, Land Spirit Pokemon, Psychic Fairy, Hide of 3, Weight of 41, and Psychic Surge ability. There is a legend which says that long ago Tapu Lele once brought an, to, an end to a war in between the islands of Alola by scattering its scales and soothing the tired warriors. Tapu Lele scatters glowing scales that physically affect others, providing stimulation to their bodies and healing their illnesses or injuries. But these scales can be dangerous as well. Because the body can't withstand the changes brought about by contact with too many scales at the same time, it will scatter its scales over humans and Pokemon for its own enjoyment. While it is innocent in one sense, there is also cruelty in the way it casually brings uh, others to ruin. If Tapu Lele doesn't have much energy stored in its shell, it may lack the strength to seize victory in a head-on battle. With this in mind, it tends to prioritize not losing a battle over actually beating a foe, and it's skilled at strategies such as inflicting status conditions on opponents. Nature's Madness slams a target with all of the nature's rage, reducing the target's HP by half. Psychic Terrain is a move with no other Pokemon has previously been able to learn, and using it will boost the power of any Psychic-type moves used by Pokemon underground and prevent them from being hit by priority moves. So that's pretty cool. Tapu Bulu. Uh, Land Spirit Pokemon, Grass Fairy, Height of 6, Weight of 100, uh, Ability of Grassy Surge. Um, Tapu Bulu has the power to manipulate vegetation and cause it to grow. It can use this power on its own horns, which are made of wood, changing their shape or making them larger. This can come in handy in battle. This solid Pokemon is not very active. People's opinions differ on whether it is docile as it seems or if the reason it doesn't move much uh, can be chalked up to simple laziness. Tapu Bulu, considering by the name it sounds really lazy, uh, does not like the uh, unnecessary battles for frightening other Pokemon. Because of this, it makes a loud ringing noise when it's t t tail to alert those nearby of its presence. 
Although Tapu Bulu may not like to start battles, it shows no mercy when dealing with evildoers. It's said that when thieves once broke into ruin, its ruins, it punished them by swinging trees around like massive clubs. Tapu Bulu can learn nature's madness, an attack that slams a target with all of nature's rage, which reduces the target's HP by half. Tapu Bulu's ability is Grassy Surge, an ability that no other Pokemon has previously had. Grassy Surge turns the field into a grassy terrain when Tapu Bulu appears in battle, boosting the power of any grass-type moves used by Pokemon on the ground and restoring a bit of HP to them each turn. It also halves the damage taken from moves Earthquake, Magnitude, and Bulldoze. Very cool. Unique as. Tapu Fini, the last land spirit Pokemon. Water Fairy, height of 4, weight of 46, and ability of Misty Surge. There are four total land spirit Pokemon. The first one we uh, introduced you guys a while back in one of our previous Pokemon Sun and Moon updates. So be sure to go ahead and check that out. This Pokemon is able to create a special water that purifies both mind, body, and Tapu requires that applications... Uh, applic uh, uh, oh my gosh, I can't even speak! Supplicants wishing to obtain the purifying water demonstrate and uh, the strength to withstand the Tapu's fog. Many humans have tried to withstand Tapu Fini's fogs in pursuit of its purifying water. Among them were some with evil intentions, which may be the reason for Tapu Fini's sense of disgust and lack of interest in appearing to people. Tapu Fini is able to attack by manipulating water. Since it hates to risk harm to itself during battle, it prefers to create a thick fog that puts opponents in a trance and leads them to destroy themselves. Tapu Fini's expression remains listless, even when it's unleashing moves. Some people say that it might look this way because it's using moves is so exhausting. The Pokemon's Nature Madness attack sends a target with all of its nature rage, reducing the target's HP by half. Tapu Fini's ability is Misty Surge, an ability that no other Pokemon previously had. Misty Surge, um, with Misty Surge, the field will be turned into Misty Terrain. When Tapu Fini appears in battle, having the damage taken by Pokemon on the ground from Dragon-type moves and preventing them from being afflicted with status conditions or confusion. Very cool. Next up, we had Cosmog, which is a Nebula Pokemon, Psychic type, height of 0 .08 and a weight of 0 .2, and the ability of Unaware. This extremely rare Pokemon is known to only a select few in Alola. At one time, it was uh, known only by the kings of Alola and their heirs, and it was called the Child of the Stars. The Ather Foundation is researching this unusual Pokemon, and one of the professors of, at the Foundation recently dubbed it Cosmog. Cosmog is very curious and shows no fear of people or Pokemon. If you treat it with consideration at all, it will take an immediate liking to you. This personality trait often leads to danger. Its gaseous body is so lightweight that it sends flying when it wind blows. When light falls on this Pokemon, Cosmog absorbs it and grows. I'd really like to see what this Pokemon turns into. It has something to do with the legendary Pokemon, we're assuming. <clears throat> Brand new Alolan Persian. Classy Cat Pokemon, Dark Type, Height of 3, Weight of 72, and the ability to Fur Coat and Technician. Absolute shit. The round face of Alolan Persian is, I hate the round face, is a symbol of the rich Alolan region, and it is held to be a Pokemon of great beauty. It is such a distinctive Pokemon of the Alolan region that the Persian are well protected, and strict inspections are required before tourists can be permitted to take one back to their home region. Persian is highly intelligent. With an even brighter opinion of itself in general, it looks down on everything other than itself, so it's going to be a piece of shit Pokemon. It doesn't tend to grow attached to its trainers either, so fuck you, bitch. So it's difficult Pokemon to have. Who even wants you, bro? Its exquisite coat shines with the glow of high quality and enchants both humans and Pokemon for this reason. It is a very popular. No, it is not! I don't care about the Alola region. This Pokemon sucks. Go look at Twitter. Hashtag kill Alola Persian. Just go look it up. It usually puts on a refined act, but once a battle begins, it will indulge. I don't even care about this Pokemon anymore. I'm out. I'm out. Let's look at what we actually came here for. The final evolutions. Decidueye! Let's look at him first. Or her. Arrow Quill Pokemon. Grass Ghost. 
Amazing. Height, 5. Weight, 80. Ability, overgrow. This Pokemon is able to move about while uh, completely masking its presence from others. So cool. Once an opponent has lost sight of it, Decidui seizes the chance to attack it unaware. In a tenth of a second, Decidui plucks an arrow quill from within its wings and sends it hurtling towards the target. Its speed is astonishing, but not more so than the precise aim which enables the arrow quill to pierce a target through and through from half a mile or more away. Decidui usually acts very cool, but it can become terribly flustered in unexpected situations like a surprise attack. A skilled Decidui can boast acrobatic curved shots. It seems some are also able to shoot arrows that reach up through the sky only to come drilling down from above, piercing multiple targets one after another. Spirit Shackle is a ghost-type physical move that only Decidui can learn. An opponent hit with this move will become unable to flee from battle or switch out for an ally. Very, very cool. Next up, we've got Primarina. Soloist Pokemon, Water Fairy, Height of 5, Weight of 97, and the Ability of Tarrant. As it dances, Primarina releases balloons of water into the area around itself moving them using the sound waves of its, from its voice. The sight of moonlight reflecting off its glittering balloons creates a magical scene. Since Primarina controls its balloons using its voice, and any, in, in, any injury to its throat can become a grave problem. Its greatest enemies are arid environments and the overuse of its voice during back-to-back -back battles. Among the balloons uh, that Primarina releases, some explode when touched, while others do not. Primarina jump on non-exploding balloons while they make sport of their uh, opponents, and they use the exploding variety to trigger chained explosions. Primarina's songs have many variations, and each one changes the motions of the balloons. It has been observed that songs are shared among the Primarina living together so different colonies up knowing different songs. Sparking Aria is a water type special move that only Primarina can learn and it heals the burns of any targets of which it strikes. I mean these these started tr ending Pokemon are absolutely great. Uh, we got the last one Incineroar, Incineroar. Freaking Tony the Tiger's back. It's great! Heal Pokemon. Type. Fire Dark. Uh, you guys know what I'm starting with. Uh, height of 5, weight of 183, and ability of blaze. As it's fighting, spirits increases. So it's technically a triple type Pokemon. Fire, fighting, and dark. The flames that Incineroar produces within its body burst from its naval waistline. Since the flames somewhat resemble a championship belt, they're known as flame belt. And the Pokemon unleashes moves that use flame from it in the heat of battle. Incineroar shows no concern for its opponents. Freaking my man. And sometimes even launches attacks that strike the opposing trainer. As a result, many tend to dislike this Pokemon and keep it at a distance. It, fake crowd watching it in battle, pumped up. Incineroar, fighting spirit will burn brighter. But a lackluster crowd can make it lose focus or fight shoddily. When it receives an admiration of young Pokemon and children, it may keep its cold attitude on the outside, but in its heart of hearts, Incineroar is immensely happy. It loses the desire to fight when faced with Pokemon that's clearly weak or injured, and it sometimes gets taken advantage of as a result. Darkest Laria is a dark type physical move that only Incineroar can learn, and it allows Incineroar to deal damage while ignoring the effects of any stat changes that the Pokemon might otherwise be affected by. So thank you very much for tuning in everybody. One of the last and final updates for Pokemon Sun and Moon to come out November 18th of 2016. What version are you getting? Stay tuned for some more content brought to you by Further One Itachi. Thank you very much for tuning in, everybody. Enjoy your day.